All right. So, um, at Comic-Con, uh, this photo was shared, um, and I thought it was great. It is the, the creators of Mortal Kombat. Ed Boon and John Tobias. Ed Boon on the left, John Tobias on the right. And uh, obviously a, a dude dressing up as Subby, which is great. I can't get over how much detail people get into cosplay. I don't even know where you'd start. Like, did people make this stuff or did, like, they actually buy this stuff? Right? I don't know, man. I wouldn't have a clue. Right? Um, but it really lends into the fact, for me personally, wondering if John Tobias is back on the team. Now, I've been talking about this for a long time. There was rumors that came out a couple of years ago that John Tobias was back in some capacity. We have seen scrap storylines of John Tobias actually come back into the game that were supposed to be storylines for the original release of Mortal Kombat. So I'm very curious about this now. When I saw this picture, I've had this picture ever since then. I just hadn't got around to doing the video yet. Um, I'm very curious. And the thing is, though, that it's like it's no disrespect to Ed Boon. It's just the fact that like Mortal Kombat is a creation of two people, right? It takes both of these minds that created MK, right? Yeah, there's other team members and stuff, but these are the these are the two that that actually said no. This is this is what we're going to make. It's very difficult to, you know, make a game when you've only got one half of the team that made it great, and. You can feel the difference of not having Tobias part of the storytelling. His intricacy and the way that he thinks and imagines is the reason why I got into Mortal Kombat, apart from ninjas. But it's the reason why I got into Mortal Kombat. It wasn't because of the blood or the fatalities. It was because of this intricate, mystical, Asian-themed lore that was just amazing. And, and it leans straight into stuff that I love, which apparently he also liked too, like things like old Bruce Lee movies, Enter the Dragon, Big Boss, Big Trouble in Little China. You know, like these movies are, you know, and many, many others, all, as you can see in the, especially in the early games, have created this, you know, the, the setting for what it did. And then when he left, which is terribly unfortunate, you could feel a difference in the storytelling. You could feel a difference with a lot of the game because you didn't have the team. It needs both to work, right? So the rumors started coming out. And I was talking to Total MK last night on stream about this, right? But um, I really wonder if he's back in some sort of like shadowed capacity. I mean, he's right here at Comic Con, right now. It could be that. The fact that he's there doing something else selling his own comics or whatever but you know um total nk was telling me like the original release of mortal kombat special forces the the e3 build or whatever was far superior to the one that we actually got it was far far superior far better and if you read his mortal kombat special forces comic books from the 90s they are incredible You've got all of these brand new characters, which look amazing. And you could, like, you know, they put the stupid combat kids in there. Dude, if you, if you actually, if they actually took these characters from the Special Forces comics and put them in a Mortal Kombat game, they'd be absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal, right? Like, just the way that Tobias sees things, especially in the MK world, is absolutely brilliant. And if these storylines are coming back, has he just simply given permission? Or is he there going, okay, you know what? If you're going to reboot this stuff, you want my help? This is what's going to happen. This is the way it should be done, right? Because this was what, you know, with, given the technology that we have now and everything we can do and storytelling and stuff, this should be the way that it's done. Now, when I first saw Raiden, I made a video. It's still up there. You can look at it. But it's like, why is Raiden Asian now? And then everyone comes in and goes, hang on a sec, Raiden used to be, he, Raiden is a Japanese thunder god. Oh god, right? I'm like, okay, all right, fine. So my question then to that is, and I'm actually warming up to Raiden, right? When I hear him talk and stuff, I'm, I'm kind of warming up to him. I, I, I yeah, like, and I, I don't have a problem. Okay, so here's the, okay, I have a problem, but I don't have a problem. I have a problem law-wise when you change 
even characters specifically from one race to the next. How do you explain that in a story setting? You know what I mean? You've got to explain that. Because some other, char other characters aren't race swapped. Other characters are pretty much the same as what they've always been. Right? It's not like they changed Sub-Zero and, and gave him Fujin powers and made him a female. You know, there's certain characters that they kept a certain way and then other characters are like, no, we are absolutely changing the entire race of this character, right? From a lore perspective, it makes zero sense. Now, if the original creation, see when Raiden first showed up in MK1, like the original Mortal Kombat, I couldn't tell if he wasn't Asian, right? Like they didn't really go into it. Like, and you couldn't even tell by the face pictures that, you know, he was, he was just a white guy. Like, it, like to me, he could have been an Asian dude. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. What I'm saying though, is that when you make these massive changes, like with Sindel, you just go, oh yeah, no, she was just bad this whole time. You can't do that, dude. You can't just retcon stuff just to mix things up like that. You've got to have cohesiveness to bias brings cohesiveness to the storytelling. He thinks of every little intricate detail far back. It's like this dude could literally write anime, right? As Total MK was saying in the stream last night, right? He's like, one of the things about anime is that they set stuff up like seasons in advance, right? So that way, like seasons later, you're like, oh my God, this thing's been there the whole time. And we just didn't know. And they've been slowly like intricately placing little pieces. That... And Tobias could easily do that because of the way his brain thinks, right? I saw his breakdown of how he saw the realms. This dude didn't just go, yeah, yeah, there's land here, here, and here, and that's it. This dude was like a ninja. He's like, you know what? No, this is how it is. And he full breakdown. I did a video about it, right? So you take that and you and that's how he how he views Mortal Kombat. He he literally looks at these these characters and places and everything as if they were real, and that's what makes a great storyteller. When you, when you can actually go, no, and make people go, wow, this place really sounds like it could be somewhere real. So I really do wonder if he is, if he is back, you know, how did these storylines that he created come back? You know, he would have had to give him permission, right? And, you know, Ed Boon doesn't own all of Mortal Kombat, right? That's why it never says creator of Mortal Kombat. It always says co-creator Ed Boon. He might be game designer. He might be might be game director. Right? He's directing everything. But he doesn't he it never states that he is the creator of Mortal Kombat. He's the co-creator because it took two of them to do it. And because of that, I would assume there would have to be some sort of permission or whatever to use these storylines. Right? I'm not a big fan of the current writer. You know, nothing against him personally. I just don't like it. It's just crap. It's like TV drama, right? I want intricacy. I want to feel something for these characters. And not something for these characters like these weirdo shippers on Twitter are like, Oh my god, they looked at it this way. No, I mean like intricacy. I mean like taking a character and actually feeling bad for them because they've had to make decisions that they didn't want to do. But they had to because they thought it was the only way to do X, Y, or Z. That's what I want in Mortal Kombat. There's, they have the capability to do that. And I'm curious to see if we'll actually get that. We've got sibling rivalry with Melina and Katana actually being related now, not just a clone, which is great. It means that the bond is stronger, but also it can mean they can break harder. Same with Kai Lang and Bi Han being actual brothers now, right? That in itself, right? creates a strong bond but also can make a massive break and how you know that will all unfold and the heartbreak and things like that that's what i want man i want that in storytelling and you just don't get it if you don't have tobias in there that's why i'm so curious about now some people come in and rightfully so they go well what if what if tobias isn't involved and it's them coming up with it well we know he's we know it's his storyline so you can't just go oh they just made it up and somehow miraculously copied what he did no his storylines are there it's just i'm just i'm just wondering why now what would be really cool at the reveal next week at gamescom that it's not just ed boone on stage wouldn't that be cool ed boone comes out and he's like yeah blah 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 by the way i think it's appropriate I think it's time 
to bring back an old friend. I will lose my... I will cry, man. I will cry. Right? Every living male out there that actually doesn't ingest a huge amount of soy cries when they watch The Shawshank Redemption. You just do. Because it's bro. It's a bro movie, right? It's a best friend bro movie. That's what The Shawshank Redemption is, right? That would be amazing. It's probably not going to happen. But you can feel the difference. I have felt the difference ever since Tobias stepped away. And it's a shame. Um, and I just... It just, it'd be kind of cool just to get some sort of confirmation. It's like, yeah, he's, you know, he's in there. You know, and these guys are like, oh, we're going to, we're going to ship these characters just sitting in the back, just throwing chairs at people going, what are you doing? This is serious. <laughs> Stop with this stupid crap. <laughs> right? Nobody cares about your shipping fantasies on Twitter and Tumblr. Right? So I am very curious. Very, very curious about that. And if, of course, going back to Raiden. His original concept could have been. Like, look at Big Trouble in China. That's a massive influence. We got Shang Tsung with Lo Pan. We got the gods. You know, with we got the god of thunder, lightning, and wind. We've got all of them in Mortal Kombat, right? Or at least two of them are in one, like with lightning and thunder, with Raiden, and then Fujin with wind. I mean, they're all in there. You know, even some of the weapons, right, have shown up on certain characters in the game. Like, it's just crazy, man. You know, massive influence. So I, I, it would be very cool. I'd love to see it, man. That that would that would that would make my day, you know, because it's it's like it's like when your favorite band gets back together. It's like, man, just why'd you guys break up to begin with? Like, what's the point, you know? And as I stated, Ed Boon is not the creator of Mortal Kombat. His title is always co-creator, always, always, right. It actually makes me wonder too, because of that. I wonder if like Tobias is actually getting royalties. I don't. I, I'm. I would assume he never gave permission, or just sold it all off and said, "Here, you take it. I don't care anymore." Right? I. I doubt that very much. I doubt it. Right? And that's probably why you know Ed Boon always has to say he's co-creator because he is. And nothing. Nothing against Ed Boon. I asked Taylor and Kay what he's like. He says he's really chill, really relaxed sort of dude, and he looks cool. You know, he just looks like laid back dude, dad. But I think Mortal Kombat is one of those games where it took two minds to create this greatness. And it needs two minds back again. See you next time.